Hello friends, welcome to this session of Learning R. And in this session, we are going to study formula interface used in R programming. And this is very common interface which is being used as input to statistical tests, statistical learning models, then for plotting purposes. Here, this is the formula interface. We'll try to understand what the formula is. The formula consists of left hand side and right hand side separated by a tilde operator. This is a uh, left hand side which contains the response variable or dependent variable. And this variable is being explained, this tilde sign says that it is being explained by the variables which are there on the right hand side. Here only single variable is there, but you can have as many variables as you want. And these variables or these vectors are coming from this data. The next uh, input or next argument to the uh, this function is data and this data shall be data frame or matrix and these are used as input or argument to the function and this is the function name this formula interface require the tilde sign and this tilde sign is there on your keyboard towards the left side of uh, key one let's start learning formula interface and for that we are going to use data set iris we'll see the data set head and when we run that, we see that four numeric variables are there and one categorical variable is there. We'll use another subset of this iris data set that I will name as DF trunk uh, for DF truncated. And this data set I will truncate using the indexing iris. 1 to 100 observations I require. And because these observations contain only two of these categorical values. I'll run that. And we'll see summary of this truncated data set. And here you can see that only two categorical values are there. Third categorical value is not there. And these two we require for t-test. First, we are going to use formula interface for t-test. T dot test is the function. And uh, the formula sepal length is determined by, this is our dependent variable, that tilde sign. It will be explained by this species spaces and this data is coming from this truncated data set df trunk the next argument is the data set when we'll run that we'll see the results of the t-test now we'll go for ANOVA ANOVA is a statistical test not ANOVA AOV is a statistical test for comparing different categorical levels or different categories. Here in Iris, three categories are there, uh, Setosa, Versicolor and Virginica. And we will use the entire data set for that. I will use the same formula for that. I have copied that. I will paste here. And uh, data we are going to use is Iris. And when we run that, we will get the results of ANOVA. We will use that to build regression model or any model you, we can build. Here I am going to use the LM, linear regression model. And again the same formula interface I will use and the same data set. Just run that now. This linear regression is there. We can save these as objects also. This is model and I will run that. Now model is there in the environment and we will see a summary of the model. We will get summary of that regression model here. This is how interface can be used, formula interface can be used for statistical test, uh, for uh, uh, specifying models, regression models and any model, neural net and all those models uh, can be used using this formula interface. Now we will move further to use this formula interface for plotting graphs. Now I will use the generic plot function and there I will give this same formula along with the data plot and we'll see that this plot function will automatically give us the box plot. Uh, we can use this formula interface for scatter plot also. This sepal length will be determined by this will be dependent variable or y axis variable now for plot and the sepal width I will copy from here. Sepal width will be the explanatory variable or x-axis for this plot and data is coming from iris I will run that and here scatter plot is there the formula interface can be used for many purposes which we enlisted here and it's very easy to use uh, I forgot about lattice library lattice I will go for 
library lattice. This is a plotting system. I will go for the box whisker plot of lattice and the same formula interface I will use there for box plot. One numeric and one categorical variable will run that and we'll see the boxes. Keep learning. Keep using formula interface for statistical test, for models and for plotting purposes. Thanks for watching this video. If you have liked this video, please click the like button. Share this video with your friends. If you are not subscribed this channel yet, then please subscribe it. Thank you. Thank you for watching.